Poly Gel Kit by Nail Care. It says, just bring your nail salon home. <laughs> um, sorry, I am trying to uh, get a better view of this. I use my phone to record, see, so. Okay, so, inside this kit, <clears throat> You get the instructions, uh, the instructions, and they come with um, all the um, step by step, which is brilliant. Um, tells you how to do everything there, uh, and then it comes with two different glitters: um, a blue. Oh, let me get these out. blue um, and a pink uh, some jewel forms uh, and they come in a nice packet they're not in the bags which is brilliant you get some slip solution Um, some slip solution, you can actually use um, any rubbing alcohol um, as slip solution. You don't actually need this, but obviously I'm going to be using it today. Um, you get a top and a base coat, which is bit I like the balls, and they're quite heavy in weight. They're not too bad. Um, you get your, your file, just a normal file. Uh, you get your brush and spatula tool. I call it a a, a lance. <laughs> it just reminds me of like javelin and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> but you get your brush, and then you get eight different colours of a. Uh, Color changing, the temp changing poly gel. Um, you get thirty mils, which is brilliant. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go from one to eight, so I can show you. <clears throat> so this is number one, and it's like a purple kind of color. I think you can see that. Um, this one is number two, and it's like a, a lighter pinky purple. Number three, and it's kind of like a rosish pink, I guess. <clears throat> number four, and it's like an apricot sort of orange I guess number five and it's like a lighter orange I guess like a peach I think I'd say also peach number six is like a more opaque I guess kind of color than number one I guess I think Oh no, that one's much darker, sorry. But this one does look more opaque than the other ones kind of look a bit jelly, I will be honest. <clears throat> you have number seven, which is like a, it's like a pink, a pinky peach, I guess. And then last but not least, number eight. And Ooh, it's a very light, like, nudish pink. So yeah, I kind of like that colour. Um, so today, these are all colour changing, by the way. They all change with the temperature. Um, so today I'm going to do a design and I'm going to pick some colours. And um, I will be right back. Okay, so um, these are the colours I chose. I chose one, number two, and number three. Um... I'm going to do a pretty simple design because I'm still pretty new to this uh, whole <laughs> nail game, I guess. Um, and I don't want to 
overdo it, you know. Gosh, this glitter. I hate it when they put so much tape <laughs> that you can't... You know when you like have a roll of tape and you can't find the end, but then you do find the end and it just comes off in like streaky pieces? <laughs> it's a nightmare. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to just open that. Um, but yeah, I am going to add a bit of um, glitter. I have got some like sequin pieces that I'm going to add into it as well. Um, and I am going to use the jewel forms today as well because they come with the kit and, you know, I'd rather review it and use the whole kit. Um, so, yeah, that's what I plan to do. So I've decided to use these hearts. Um, you've got like a iridescent sort of pink shifting like from different colors of pink and silver and then these iridescent hearts as well um fun fact these hearts actually come in a photo frame of my children um so i took a few out of it and uh yeah <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today i'm just going to move all the product across because we don't need everything in the way <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to open up my slip solution. Good grief, what is wrong with me today with opening everything? Everything seems to be sealed. At least you know this this um, this kit <laughs> comes very um, sealed. It's a very sealed product, which is good, I guess. Um, but if you want to get into your product, actually, let's just try and. There we go. Just make a hole in the top. I don't think it's actually got one of them covers, you know, where you can like use it like a vinegar bottle. <laughs> um, I'm just going to get my my little dampen dish. Uh, this actually come with um, my first ever poly gel kit. You know that poly gel kit from um, you can get it on eBay and Wish and they're exactly the same kit. <laughs> it come with that and um i also have an eyebrow tinting kit and one of these come with it i think these things are just in every kit now it doesn't matter <laughs> so i'm going to take my oh, let me move this out of the way a second my model one's dehydrator and primer um this is the one that i've just used the most and I've enjoyed and it seems to do the job because it's very hard for me to take my nails off and I'm still a beginner so I'm you know I'm not a perfect um not perfect by any means yet um so I'm going to do two coats of the dehydrator and also two coats of the primer you just want to make sure you get this on your nail. Um, the dehydrator um, takes away any dirt and dust and uh, oil from the natural nail. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I was completely out of frame then. Sorry about that. Don't worry, we're going to do a second coat so you're going to see what I'm doing anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go in with the second coat now. There's one. And two. So is there any um, people that may be watching? I, I might be just talking to myself and no one's actually ever going to watch my videos, who knows. Um, but is there anyone actually watching that's an, a beginner like me that wants to try um, doing all their nails at home? I enjoy it and, and I really do have fun um, doing my uh, nails. And I love all the different kits and stuff. I haven't actually tried acrylic yet. And I want to. Um, I wouldn't say I'm nervous. But I kind of am. Because like poly gel you can, you can play with until the sun goes down. But uh, acrylic you have like a timer. So it's kind of um, that worry of oh gosh what if uh, I don't move it around enough. And I end up with like bubble nails. Can you remember that trend? Oh, good grief. I remember that trend. And we are nearly done. Just one more nail. And there we go. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna tighten the top because I'm clumsy and no my look it will go everywhere and Bob's your uncle, I'll have no primer <laughs> left. Um so now I'm just going to open up the sorry, I, I don't know if this is how loud this actually is. Um I'm gonna open up the jewel forms and I'm just going to um tape you know what one day i'm gonna have something and it's not gonna have tape and i'm gonna try and pry it open and everything in this tub in the box is going to fly everywhere <laughs> so here we go and here's the jewel forms oh they're not actually that curved either which is great because most tend to be very curved um so what number is this, this is number two so i'm just going to fit them to my nail. You want to make sure it goes sideways wall to side wall. Um, this one obviously doesn't. Um, because if you don't go side wall to side wall and you've got to make sure you have enough space in the jewel form to make sure you can put your product in. Um, if you don't have enough space it's gonna it's not gonna sit properly. Like this one goes side wall to side wall, that's perfect. Uh, so I'm just going to pick some out and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to use number three on the nail. And basically I'm going to, rather than using the spatula piece, I'm just going to squeeze on like a toothpaste method of the amount of poly gel that I wish to have. And I'm going to put slip solution. And then what you want to do is you want to pat, sorry, you want to pat the poly gel into place. Ooh, getting my fingers and thumbs everywhere. Um, you don't want it too thick, but you also don't want it too thin because of course, um, if it's too thin, then you're going to have breakage and lifting and all that bad stuff and that's no good. <laughs> um, so, we're just going to work it around until I am happy with the way that the product is sitting. If you need more, of course, don't hesitate to add more. Um, like, because if you end up putting too much, of course you can, um, you know, you can uh, remove it and add it to the next jewel form, so that way you're not over um, overdoing it. So there we go. Uh, just gonna pull this over a little bit. Um, try not to brush it, and it, it's it's easier said than done. Try not to brush it around though too much because it'll become uneven and if it becomes uneven then of course um, you're going to have like a blocky sort of nail. So then you just want to, at an angle, slide it onto your nail and push it down. Try, if there's any mess around the cuticle, make sure to clean it up. Don't forget to go underneath and... Um, clean up under there because of course it, it bulks up when it goes onto your skin. Um, so there we go. Oh, it's already changing colour look to my skin. And I'm going to put that into my nail lamp and cook it for a minute. Um, where's my, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to cook that for a minute. Um, I will be right back and we'll see the finishing touch. Um, so here it is. It's actually gone uh, like, a, uh, like a milky white, I'd say. Um, so what you do is you just leave it cool down and then it'd be really easy to remove. I also forgot to put on base coat. So I'm going to quickly put that onto all of the nails now. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot my base coat. I never forget my base coat. Um, so I'm just going to quickly put the base coat on now. I'm just going to get this bottle because it is much easier. 
um, I actually put on when I do my base coat I put on two layers um, just for um, security <laughs> for safety measures <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just gonna stick this on now sorry if my camera angle is awful I'm still learning with that as well so I'm just gonna put that into the lamp as well and quickly show that um, of course some sometimes you might get a heat spike with your with your lamp if you do please remove your hand the second that the heat spikes like it's actually doing it right now with the um with the base coat um just keep removing your your hand until the heat spike no longer well no longer spikes <clears throat> don't be brave and think oh i can take this pain don't do that just just take your hand out remove it and then wait a few seconds and do it again otherwise you're going to be in a, very, a lot of pain and uh, we don't want that we don't want anyone to be in pain we want you to enjoy your experience of doing your own nails um sorry i've got no room here it seems to uh <laughs> to do my work okay i'm just gonna move that bottle now that i've done that <clears throat> Um, I cure my base coat for a minute. Um, you don't, like, you can always check it because you don't know. Let me take this off. Yeah, did you see? Oh, it's not actually cured. There's a little bit there that hasn't actually cured, so I'm going to stick that in the lamp with it, and I'm going to well, smooth it up first. I'm quite shocked that that didn't cure. Everywhere else seems to have cured. Hmm, very odd. So a little bit in the corner didn't cure. You can actually still see a tiny piece. Can you see in the corner right there? Um, that come off. So yeah, I'm quite shocked at that. I've never had a poly gel do that after a minute. It's usually cured in my lamp, which is quite unusual. Um, you can reuse these, by the way, as long as you just wash them. Well, don't like wash them like a dish. Um, use some. Um, I'm just going to double cure because I'm a bit worried now. Um, just um, use some slip solution, some alcohol, like give them a good wipe down. Uh, but yeah, clean them off and you can reuse them. Obviously, don't keep reusing them over and over to the point where you've used them about 50 times because that's quite gross <laughs> but um the good thing about these poly gel kits they all come with some form of dual form um these are actually not that curved and some come really curved some come um not too bad and then these are like mad like you, these aren't too bad but you get some that are mad curved like cat claws and it's quite shocking um and i'm like why <laughs> Do I want to be a poly cat? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> but it's a thing. <laughs> um, so there we go. I've uh, cured. It's still not cured. Wow. Why is it not cured? That's really weird. I generally thought that this would cure okay. I didn't think it would... Um... Yeah. There is a sticky layer, pardon me, sorry, there is a sticky layer on the, uh, after it's cured, that I haven't wiped away yet, but it shouldn't be doing this. This is quite um, unusual in my opinion. It's the first one that I've had that's done it in a wee. So I went ahead and added a little bit extra because of the, the like little like canyon that happened here um i added some more uh so i can i can sh like shape that in a second um but yeah it, it i don't know why it didn't cure properly it, it, it has now maybe it was just the way my hand was in the actual lamp i'm not sure um so now we're just going to run through all of this
Okay guys, so um, I finished off the, the rest of the nails. Um, I went and washed my hands. I know they're all different lengths. I'm going to trim them down a bit because I've got children and it's easier for me to not have very, very, very long nails. But I went and washed my hands and the colour, this is what I got. Now my house isn't either warm nor cold. It, like the other nails that I've had on, the colour changing ones, they, the tips would still turn back their normal colour and then the bed, the, the nail bed would stay like the milkish white. This one's actually quite clear. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, um, yeah, the, the colour's not come back. I'm quite disappointed really, but we'll fix that by adding on some bling and stuff. So now we're going to file these down and whatnot. So, um, yeah, to just shape. I'm gonna get better at this guys just uh, learning curves and stuff right so you just gonna make sure everything is covered nicely and whatnot 
um, I'm just going to pop it into the lump and cure again. And there we are guys, that is my uh, colour changing but doesn't colour change poly gel um, <laughs> nails. I'm just going to add some of my homemade cuticle oil. I actually followed the recipe from Simply Nail Logical for this. Um, she makes it own. So, sorry, I'm trying to get some out. For some reason it's not doing its job. There we go. Um, she actually makes it own and honestly, she's a genius. Um, I swear by this stuff. Uh, always make sure to, to um, use cuticle oil, by the way, after doing your nails because they've been through a lot. So they really do need that moisture. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, Simply Nail Logicals, um, cuticle oil, it's 100% jojoba oil and 100% um, vitamin E oil mixed together. Um, I literally just mix it in a bowl and then used a pipette to put it into these little pens. I've actually made a couple that are over in the basket over there. Um, but these are the... The nails guys um let me know what you think uh i don't think i did too bad uh i do have um an instagram for my nails and you can see my progress over the last well i've only been doing nails for about a month so i think i'm doing okay um but you can uh follow me on swales nails or at swales nails on uh, instagram you can find me there um, and you can see my progress. I have gotten a lot better. Um, before it just looked like bricks on my nails and now they actually have a bit of shape and whatnot. So yeah, not too bad. And like I said, I know it's not Valentine's day, but who cares, right? I mean, you can have hearts any day of the year. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, as for this poly gel nail care kit um this one with the the girl with the very very pouty red lips and red thing i <sighs> it's a good poly gel i'm not gonna lie it's it's not it works well which is a positive um it's it, it, it's it's good like it easily moves around it's not too firm and it's not too soft it's it's just right um there's some nice colors in it the only, and it's easy to file like any poly gel, the only con about this kit is the, the colours. Like, they're still not changing back. And I've washed my hands, I've put it under cold water, hot water. It's just, it's not coming back. The, the <laughs> Which is a shame. Um, but what can you do? You know, some kits do this and you can't really do much about it um so i guess if you wanted loads of clear poly gel then by all means get this product um <laughs> but i wouldn't um i wouldn't buy it again um i'm quite disappointed that the colors didn't change uh the colors that i actually used today as well were one two and three so whether um whether the other colours work, I don't know, um, but I don't think they will. The top and base coat, I I do like the top and base coat. I think they're pretty good. Like they've given that nice that nice shine and stuff, and it's worked really. And they they cured really fast. Then they're, they're non wipe as well. It doesn't actually say that they're non wipe, but they are. There's there's no tacky layer whatsoever, and it took ten seconds and they were cured. So yeah, but. Let me know what you guys think. Um, have you used this kit before? Did you have the same problem, actually? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and uh, don't forget to give this uh, video a like. If you want, you don't have to, by all means. A lot of people are going to dislike it because, you know, I'm a new person and my nails are nowhere near as good as a professional's, I guess. But we all got to learn somehow in some way. Um, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more 
of my videos. I will be posting regularly. It will probably be about once a week to start off with to get with the flow. And then after that, um, I'll try and do two maybe every now and then. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!